Everybody and welcome to She Shays with your host Jill. Yep, I'm Jill. Well, <clears throat> let's get right to the point of what this shave is tonight. This is going to be a huge, and I mean huge, mea culpa, mea culpa to Nick over at uh, Bearded Lady Shave. Um, and I owe him an, ap <clears throat> an apology also. Uh, my last uh, video... I did on his Nomad Razor, and I totally misrepresented what his razor is all about, and I didn't show all of its uh, good points. And I screwed up because I didn't pay attention to uh, my... Uh, usually I'll do research on things and, and before I go on video and um, refresh my memory about what it is I'm reviewing. And I totally blew it with Nick's Nomad Razor. And the razor I'm referring to is the 3D printed razor from Nick at Nomad. Now, this razor comes with, it's 3D printed, comes with a handle, and it comes with two different heads. Let me open up the box. It comes with two different heads. Now, one, as you can see, is an open comb there, and the other one is a straight bar. But, there are four ways you can use this razor, which I did not mention, and that is my total fault. And I said that it's much too mild of a razor, and that is not the case. I also said that the um, uh, open comb was mild compared to the straight, and that's not true. Um, a lot of cases with other razors I have, it is the case that the that the uh, open comb is less um, um, aggressive than, than the straight bar. But in this case, it's not true. And the reason I say that is, um, each one of these you can use on two different size. And that changes the aggression of the blade. And same thing with this, uh, with the open comb. Now, the way you can tell the more aggressive one, I don't know if you can see that on camera, there's a little nipple here. There's a little nipple here. And if that's showing facing you, that means you're on the more um, aggressive, uh, wider blade gap on that particular blade. Same thing with the straight bar. There is the little nipple there. I don't know if you can pick that up, but there's the little nipples on the edges. So you've got four different ways to use this. And I am going to, um, I'm going to use the uh, open comb because I have um, quite a bit of growth here. And I got these white hairs now, and those are very, very coarse hairs. So I'm going to use the open comb one. And I am going to use the most aggressive, which means the dimple pointing out. And I am going to use a feather blade on its fourth use. So... Put the blade in. On that top cap. And look for the dimple. And that faces me. Okay, Joe. What are you doing here? It's not lining up right. All right, why are you not lining up? Okay, and I have a little plastic washer that I got from Lowe's. And I'm putting that on before I put the handle on.
so you'll see that there's that blade gap, which is much larger than um, the one I did in my other video. So that is the most aggressive of the open comb, and I'm going to be using that. So let's tighten that down. It's mm, not loaded evenly. Let me adjust that. Okay, that's better. And the soap I'm going to be using today is going to be um, Doppelganger. And this is the gray, Doppelganger gray, and that is uh, Crete Event. Uh, Crete Aventus is the uh, scent on that. And the brush, oh, I'm not going to be using my Sterling. I've been um, breaking this in, and it's coming along quite nicely. But I've been, um, like, lathering my face or shaving with it, but doing a lather every day. And it's just too rough on my face to use it every day, to lather every day. So um, I'm going to put this aside for right now, and I'm going to use a synthetic brush. And this is going to be my uh, DS Cosmetics uh, synthetic brush. That's a nice looking brush. I like the looks of that. It doesn't need any soaking. And I'm going to wring that out. This doppelganger, and I'm not going to overload it like I always do. This doppelganger CK6 formula, you only have to load it for like 10 seconds. So I'm going to test that theory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's the load I have on it. Let me re-wet my face. And I'm going to put some PAA cube on. Rinse my hand. Let me get some of this proto lather out of here. Not too much because I didn't lather, I mean, uh, load it for too long. Get up there, nose stud. Oh god, does this smell good? Okay, and that's adding to the PA cube as a pre-shave. We dampen the tips of my brush and let's get lathering. So, Nick, I hope you forgive me for misrepresenting your razor. And now that I paid attention to what I normally do and how to use a new product properly, I hope you accept my apology. And to my viewers, too. Because I did you a disservice. I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. nice
this CK6 formula is just is a wonderful performer. I wish I had more of the soaps with this formula in it. You can add even more water. Whoa! Soap flying all over the place. like a lower structure this is so slick feeling on my face and I think that's gonna do it right there for me let me get this soap out of the way and let's warm up the razor double check it okay on the most aggressive setting I'm holding it also at a different angle so that it gets to the place here where it starts angling. Instead of going for the blade feel, I'm going for comfort in the way I use it. And that's probably why it wasn't as comfortable on the first shave I did with it. It's a small margin to find that angle. But eventually I'll get it. Back up. see what I can do with residual. Wow. What a difference when you use it correctly. <laughs> Amazing. Now, beginners don't shave like this with just residual. I'm just showing how great the residual is on this soap, but I don't promote it for beginners. I have very little pickups that I need to do. That's how good this razor was, using it properly. But you know me, I'm going to do another pass.
So again, that's beardedlady.com. And this 3D printed razor is called the Nomad. Four different possible settings from a very mild to very efficient. And I am so close right there. I don't know if you can see that compared to what I showed you before. But it's amazing. Let's go for round two. As Maya would say, round two instead of past two. I'm enjoying the soap. I'm enjoying the razor. And I'm enjoying your company. Because I love you guys. Yes, I do. So anybody that's new to the channel or just happened upon the channel and saying, what the hell is going on? What have I stepped into? A woman shaving her face? Yes, women get facial hair. Um, a lot of it is because of hormonal imbalances. Some of it is certain nationalities have more facial hair the females there's a multitude of reasons why and I will not use epilators I will not tweeze anymore because there's just too much hair growth that was a very effective way for me when I didn't have as many hairs but this is, for me, the best alternative. And I dare say, if there's any ladies out there or husbands that have wife that have facial hair, bring up the subject about perhaps using traditional wet shaving as a way to remove it. go against the grain. Let's live dangerously because I'm going for a two-pass sh two shave. I felt uneasy after that first video about this razor. I just, there was just something that made me feel uneasy about what I said and did in the review. And again, that was my lack of understanding the properties of this razor. Because I sold it short. And revisiting it and now knowing the proper way to use it. I'm totally freaking loving this shave. Okay, let me rinse off and see where I'm at. Even that felt mild, knowing now how to ride the edge that's there. Because when you don't, it'll let you know. The blade will bite in too much. And 
that's why in that last shave, it was uncomfortable for me. I wasn't using the razor properly. All right, now I'm just having too much fun. <laughs> This would be a great travel razor. All right, let me rinse off. I don't think I'm going to need a pickup. So I was doing that buffing. Okay, let's let the water out and let's do a cold water rinse because that's baby butt smooth. Yeah. Okay. Cold water. I know this video is going pretty long, 22 minutes, but, oh, I got soap up my nose. You know what happens when that happens. I sneeze. So, I'm going to use, just to test my theory about how comfortable it was, I'm going to use an elm stick. <laughs> What's left of this one. I have another full bar ready to go. I got a little bit of tingle right here where I go over. Nothing up here at all. Just a little tingle on these areas where I buff more. And that's it. Nothing anywhere else. Nothing on my lip. Just this area here, my tough parts. Wow. That is great. I'm happy. <laughs> I got soap all over my shirt. <laughs> all right, let's rinse that off. Let me, well, let me let... Let it stay on the face for a little bit. I'm going to rinse my brush off. Oh, I got splatter all over the screen. So, oh, you better not try to take it off. I'll knock the brush down, the phone down. All right. So, that was the DS Cosmetic brush I used. And the soap, of course, was the um, Doppelganger from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, and this is a CK6 formula. Great formula. As you saw, I only loaded that brush for 10 seconds, and that's all I needed. I had more in that brush that, that I could have done quite a number of uh, passes on. Let me rinse this alum off. Okay. I didn't turn the camera off. Is it still going? Yes, it is. Okay. Beautiful shave. The soap performed marvelously. 
great feel after sh after the shave. And I'm going to put some homemade remedy. Uh, if you guys follow Jimco, he uh, had a recipe for this. And I altered it just a little bit from his re recipe. But this is going to give me a slap in the face. Not too bad. I say that now, but three minutes from now, I'll be going, oh, who was I kidding? Okay, and my post shave balm I'm going to use from Sterling Shave Co. is iced pineapple because uh, that soap scent does have a little pineapple in it. Come on. Oh, that's more than enough. Emulsify it. And this has got a kick to it, as in the name, iced pineapple. So, whew, it's got quite a bit of menthol in it. All right. Well, that's going to do it. That's going to do it. So, with that, I'll say goodbye. Thank you, Nick. I'm glad I could try to make it up to you regarding this. And you guys know I love you, right? Right. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.